Yeah, so it's me Gaba this side. As you can see, this is one of our medical vlog series. So in this vlog, in this uh, chapter, I'm going to teach you about the eye. So in this eye chapter, I'm going to teach you about the eye by using the eye model. So as you can see, in the anatomy hall and the anatomy lab, we have a very interactive model of the eye. So for the more basic structures, they are all identifiable in this and for more advanced structures they are also visible so as you can see this model is disassemblable so you can remove the parts of the eye and you can study them more properly so for example if you see this one you can see that it is having two grey parts on the top so which represents the eyelid the upper tarsal and the lower tarsal plate and then this one if you are trying to remember if you remember this is the levator palpebrae which is the muscle which is responsible for moving the eyelid, upper eyelid and if you see before I remove this one if you see the structures here you can see a green structure here and the structure which is resembling a gland here so this one is the lacrimal gland and this one represents the nasolacrimal duct so the nasolacrimal duct is the duct responsible for taking the tears from your eye to your nose so that's why when you cry you also do like this so this is the responsible one, this is the guilty, this is the culprit for this one. So if we take this one out, you can see that now we have the eyeball, which we call as the eyeball. And if you see the bony structure down, this is called the orbit. So they do, have not showed you the whole orbit, but the orbit is the uh, bony structure in which the eye is being in, encapsulated. So in this eye structure, as you can see, you can see some muscles. So if you try to remember the muscles, this is the superior oblique, sorry, this is the superior rectus. The muscle which is down, if you can see in the back side, this one, this is the inferior rectus. If you see the muscle at the side here, this is the superior, this is the medial uh, rectus. If you see this one, this is the lateral rectus. So these are the four rectus muscle. And there is a superior oblique, which you can see from the top here. This is superior oblique and the muscle which is down, I don't know if you can see that much here, a muscle here, I don't know if you can see this one, we'll show you a better view from here. So this one is the inferior oblique. So these are the muscles of the eye, these are, these are called the extraocular muscles. So these muscles, they help make you move your eye up, down, sidewards and obliquely. So, if you want to know more about the nerve innovation of these muscles, if you want to know more about which muscle is responsible for which movement, make sure to comment down and let me know. I will make a separate video of that because that is a part of basic anatomy and more on the off the part. And if we remove, before I remove this one, if you remember your basic anatomy of the eye, you can remember the white part of the eye is called the sclera and the clear part of the eye is called the cornea. So if I remove this one, you can see that the whole eye structure comes out. So if you remember this one, the structure at the last of the eye, there's a lot of venous supply and the arterial supply and the nerve supply. So this is called the retina. So if I remove the retina, we'll try and open this one out. So you can see that it has the lens of the eye in the front. So we'll remove the lens now. So as you can see, this is the lens of the eye. And after that, it is a vitreous chamber. And if we remove the vitreous chamber also, we can see the inside of the retina. So if you see in the front, you can see that we have the iris and the pupil. So if you are wondering what is iris, so iris is the colored pigmented structure so this one which is the colored pigmented structure is called the iris and the pupil is the black dot which you see which dilates and constricts so these are the basic structures of the eye so we'll put everything back in so as you can see that these models which are present in the anatomy hall they are very very interactive and you can learn more about them and if you want me to do a more interactive video a more deep video on all the eye muscles 
and the other parts of the eye make sure to comment down and let me know and if you want me to do a video on the skull and if you want to see more closer the orbit of the eye make sure to comment down and let me know because we have more interactive things coming up so thank you guys make sure to subscribe